Hey guys, it's Nikki from Still Moments Nursery. I thought I'd do a quick review on some of the Sacris kits that I've got available on the website. Um, and I've got, them, I've got them available on the custom order form as well for those wanting them um, or me to make them up as um, Rewind dolls for them. Um, I've grabbed out um, three 17 inch doll kits. So I've got the Zoe kit the same as um, my keeper baby Jonathan. Um, so that's the Zoe kit, uh, which is just adorable. I love the face on the Zoe. It's just so premi like um, so he makes a really good um, premi or she so there's the face and it's very detailed as well so um, the ears in particular are very um, lifelike so they're not sort of flat like a lot of doll um, a doll kits you've got out um, or a lot of doll kits that are out at the moment they're actually really highly detailed so um, Pat's actually gone into some really Good details actually sculpting these so there's the Zoe head and I've got a couple of um, this one is um, gumdrop so again it's a 17 inch um, sleeping very similar to Zoe but just not um, as detailed so the ears are a little bit more um, sort of a lot more smaller compared to the Zoe so as you can see okay so that's gumdrop so again it's a 17 inch doll kit so gumdrop is um, the same size as the Zoe so it's, again it's a sleeping doll kit sort of not as detailed as Zoe but um, quite cute nonetheless and I've picked out Taffy as well again Taffy is a um, sleeping baby I like this one as well because you can actually do Taffy and the Zoe um, as twins because they're very similar looking so um, again that's another 17 inch um, doll kit and with those or all three of those you can get um, different size limbs so you can get your little um, the quarter limbs so um, the quarter limbs sort of come up to here and then the rest is cloth body um, the three quarter limbs come up um, to here and then you've got the shoulder joint um, on them so I've only got the quarter limb ones here um, so I've got the 17 inch holly limbs and the 17 inch um, Duncan limbs. These are the limbs that are actually on my Jonathan um, doll kit. They were the first ones to come out. So um, you'll probably see a lot of these um, on the earlier Sir Chris babies. Um, the Holly, um, 17 inch Holly ones um, are just adorable. So there you go, the toes are just curled up. It's just a lot more detail um, in those. You can sort of see the bottom of the foot and those toes. And I'm a sucker for baby toes, I love baby toes. So there's the other one. So a lot of wrinkles, so a lot premi like. So you can, once they're painted, they actually look a lot more realistic. So there's her little hand, so she can sort of hold toys, which is good. Because if you get doll kits that have sort of got their, their fists closed or open, it's a lot it's sort of harder to pose them with um, toys and um, sort of getting them to look natural because a lot of babies sometimes have one hand open or their hands just a little bit open so you know it's sort of good to see doll kits that are varied and there's her little other hand so again it's just slightly open it's not an actual closed fist so they're the 17 inch um, they were the holly limbs I haven't actually used these limbs yet but um, I plan on doing um, a couple of dolls in the near future with these limbs. So there's the 17 inch, so the three 17 inch doll kits and the two limbs. Um, then I've got a 19 inch doll kit. Um, this one is um, squeaky. Um, I've actually reborn this one um, a couple of years ago. Um, so I'll put a link in the descriptions bar if you guys want to see her. And there she is. So again, she's really highly detailed. The ears are just adorable. And her little nose. So there's the squeaky. And again, you can get different limbs. So you can get your three quarter limbs or your um, quarter limbs. And these are the quarter limbs. And these are actually um, the same limbs that I did on the doll kit that I made a couple of years ago. So there they are. And they sit so naturally once you've weighted them. If you weight them with um, large glass beads, you'll get a lot of weight in the um, hands and they'll actually flop um, like baby hands do when they're sleeping. So there they are. 
in her little feet. I'll show you her feet. So there's the feet. And then you can get the three quarter limbs. So these ones are brandy. So these are all, um, Sir Christ is actually sculpting, I'm not sure who actually sculpts the limbs for Sir Christ. I'm not sure if it's Pat um, or if he's got people that actually sculpt for him, but um, the detail in the kits is actually um, getting more realistic as um, the years go by, which is really good. So, because we want, you know, the more, more wrinkles and the more details you get um, in the doll kits, the better um, it is for sort of the reborning and um, creating, you know, your life like baby dolls. So these are the limbs for the three quarter. So again, they're pretty detailed on all the nails um, and nail beds and there's a little ankle, so the ankle joints. And they're the three quarter. And these little hands. So the hands, again, is just a closed fist with a little thumb poking out. So they're pretty detailed. And there's a couple, um, like I said, you can get more limbs um, limb range. I, I've only got uh, just a couple to sort of start with, but um, yeah, they're the limbs. So you've also got snugly as well. So again, it's just just going into sort of different detail. This one's got a little bit more wrinkles. So it all depends on what you want your doll to have. Um, sort of more oldish, older features. Um, sort of less wrinkles, more wrinkles. Um, you can just sort of play around and sort of base it off the you know, the face that you like, and then you can sort of adapt your limbs depending on what you want your doll to look like. All right, guys, so um, there's my quick review on the Sir Chris kits that I've got available on the website. Um, I'll put a link in the descriptions bar below if you guys are um, interested in um, either purchasing the um, heads and limbs in any combination that you guys want, so you guys can make them up yourself. I'll also put a link in the descriptions bar if you guys want me to make these particular doll kits up. So I'll put a link in to the 19 inch custom order form and to the 17 inch custom order form. Um, but yeah guys, thanks for watching and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!